Now that you have a new project, you will need to upload the documents. Before you do, please be sure to check with your Kira administrator to see if there are any internal protocols behind the upload of documents. Click into the project where you want to upload your documents and then go to document list on the left navigation pane. Here, you can drag and drop the documents directly in, or you can use the import button on the top left and either import them in from your desktop or computer, or if your organization uses Intralinks or HiQ and has integrated them with Kira, you can upload directly from there. Once you have uploaded your documents, you may need some time for them to process. This is because Kira is using Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, in order to make the document machine readable and searchable regardless of its original format. Depending on the number of documents, the number of pages of each document, and the formats of the original documents, Kira can be completed processing in a matter of minutes. In order to check, select the Imports button on the left navigation pane, and this will take you to the Imports page. Here, you can see all of the documents that are still uploading, those that have uploaded but are processing, those that have been completed, and those which have failed to complete because of one of a number of errors. When the documents have completed uploading, go back to the document list. And here, you will see that Kira has maintained the original folder structure the documents were originally in, as well as the file names. If you want to see the folder structure, simply select the down arrow at the top next to the original folder name. This will open up the folder tree, and here you can navigate through each of the folders accordingly. If you want to see what subfolders there are, simply select the down arrow next to any of the folders that have one, meaning that there are subfolders available, and you'll be able to see the folders within the structure. If you felt that one of the files was in the wrong folder and you wanted to move it to another, simply select the box to the left of that document name. And then at the top, select move and then move it to the folder it should belong. Similarly, if you find a document that you feel does not belong within the project itself and you want to delete it, simply select the checkbox to the left of it. And at the top, you'll see the icon with three dots. When you click into it, you have the option to delete. Once you confirm, the document has been deleted. If you wanted to create a new folder or subfolder, simply find where you want that folder to belong and then select Create Folder. And then here, you'll give the folder a name. And then the folder will exist within your new structure. As you navigate through the uploaded documents within your document list, you may notice that there are some automatic tags that appear. The first is going to be for OCR quality. Kira will grade any document that has poorer than perfect OCR quality, and it'll grade it from B or C or D and onwards. A document has lesser than an A OCR quality, you may see some typos in the results, or you may see some uncharacteristic misses. As a result, anything with an OCR quality tag, you may want to double check manually. In addition, Kira will also automatically tag any document that's in a language other than English, and they'll tell you which language that it is. Finally, Kira will also automatically classify each document as a contract or non-contract, and what type of contract or non-contract that it is. So in this case, it has identified this document as a contract, and as an intellectual property agreement. A summary of these automatic tags can be found in the tags page that you see on the left navigation bar. This should be everything you need to know as a basic introduction in order to upload documents into Kira. The next video will go over how to use the worksheets page and the smart field library.